I was talking about the skincare products I'm using. So I can say my skin is bright. Um, the marks aren't completely gone as you can see, but I feel confident enough to go out without makeup or whatever and go to work without makeup because it had gotten to a point where I was just so self-conscious. Um, but like I feel I feel happy, beautiful, um, all that. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to take you guys with me through today. Also, maybe have a little chat because there's some stuff on my heart and mind. Um, yeah. Um, oh yes, and I wanted to show you some items. So I'm thinking of doing a online store, Yaga store. I've just put on like my grown woman weight and I really don't see myself going down from this size. Um, so I think it's just a good time to get rid of some stuff that like me or my sisters won't wear because usually we keep stuff because one of us will fit it but um, at this point I don't think any of us will fit into these sizes so I'll just give you a preview of what kind of stuff and I don't know let me know if you'd be interested um, if it's something I should do I'll probably donate the older items but the things that are still fresh I'll put up online Okay, just to give you an idea, um, this is the kind of stuff I have, some basic blue jeans, um, these dungarees I really love, light blue, very fun summer look. Um, honestly, would still wear them if, if they fit me like that. Ow! <laughs> Not this bit. Um, I've got like these sexy black jeans. I can tell the lighting is coming the other way, so you can't really see. But I'm just giving you an example. Okay, this view is better. But yeah, I've got these jeans. Like, really, stuff that's in good condition. The size is just not make sure for me anymore. So yeah, look out for that. If I do decide to sell, I might just give them away. Another pair of jeans. Um... These are high-rise, simple blue jeans. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. You've even got that, you know, high button, whatever. So, yeah. And that's the stuff I'm kind of looking to find a new home for. Just, you know, clear up stuff, spring clean, all of that.
interest of speaking and focusing because I feel like on Sundays there's a lot happening there's a lot of moving parts so yeah oh yes okay so I had a little bit of a roadblock this week and it was just two days where I don't know if it was hormones I don't know if it was medication lack of sleep because I had had alcohol all those things you get can affect your mood so you know I'm I'm very good with at least trying to I won't say rationalize but just trying to place my thoughts you know in a bigger context because you can't take everything your mind says as gospel there's a lot of things that can affect it um especially get as a woman it's easier to understand this like pms sometimes you will react to something in a way that is a little bit out of the norm for you and you just need to take a step back sometimes and be like well is this me or is this me like in a hyper emotional state cool yeah whatever so i had that kind of episode this week um and i just was so unimpressed with my life i was unimpressed with myself i was unimpressed with my life i am gonna be objectively honest and real with myself i'm doing well um i am not by any means living you know my best life but I'm doing well, you know, I've got a job, um, I've got things that I have earned and worked for, things that I'm proud of, um, yeah, son, you know, um, on paper, if someone else was just to look at my quote-unquote stats, they'd be like, ah, right, she's doing fine for her age, um, but me, not personally, Lindo Gushet, right now, I just hit one of those roadblocks and I was like, I'm not content with where I'm at actually right now. I want more for myself. I'm tired of desiring what other people have. Um, and also, part of that is also coming into acceptance with where you are, you know. Kind of serenity prayer vibes. Lord, you know, teach me to accept what I can't change, to change what I can and to know the difference so you know after feeling sorry for myself i had a real take stock moment and i was like okay this is where you're at this is not where you want to be you actually want to propel into a whole other level what is that going to take from you what am i willing to put in to make that happen and i just had a real well something happened like my car got a little scuff and like you know in the bigger scheme of things it's not that bad but just when you're in a place already where you feel like things aren't going your way you know feeling like my money is just not stretching enough there's just never enough there's always something you know just kind of that like i'm working from a disadvantage i'm working from yeah, I'm, I'm just working from a backwards place and it's two steps forward and five steps back kind of thinking. When you have any sort of minor inconvenience, it actually makes you spiral because you just can't handle it. Um, so, you know, I, I wouldn't say I spiraled. I just kind of shut down and I was like, this is not working for me. I can't keep living like this. So... Um, Oh gosh, she turned me back deep and I actually did not want this to be that deep. Um, all I'm just wanted to say is like, I've taken stock of where I am, of where I want to go. And, the, the, and I know the kind of things that can get me to where I want to be. And being realistic. Um, like a goal for mine, one of my goals, and I'll be real honest and personal. One of my goals has been to do my master's. But when I look at my current degree and my honors degree, you know, the next natural progression of the master's is not actually what I want to see myself doing. So I have one of two options. 
don't know if I could do that. Three, I can bench the whole master's thing for now. Um, get a certification in a parallel field that has really nothing to do with what I've studied but is actually what I'm interested in right now. After getting that certificate, then go into, hopefully get into a master's that is a branch away from my degree, but at least I will have that sort of certificate to show that, okay, I'm entering into this field um, with some prior knowledge, you know, I'm not going to just start at master's level or whatever. And obviously the whole thing with academics is, yes, what you study can be different, granted, but there's a general way of teaching, way of learning. You can actually chop and change subjects if you just get the basics. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. This is a personal decision that I'm trying to figure out right now. Um, so I've given myself a task and I've mapped out a learning plan for myself. And because I don't want to just like fork out money or throw myself into a new field I've never done. Um, so yeah, my plan is to try out this whole thing because I'm even afraid to shame sometimes to tell people my ideas because I'm like, uh, I might not be into this next week. But I've had this thought in my mind for a while. I've played around. I know where my heart wants to be. I know what will get me to that next level of my life. And yeah. So it's that. And then there's something else that I'm also doing, but I'm not going to talk about that yet because, again, I just want to feel it out before I commit. And all of that is really just to say, guys, life is long. And also, you have to live with the decisions you make. You have to live with the life, you know. No one else can propel you to the next step. No one else can give you, you know, um, what can I say? If you want to be something, if you want to get somewhere, you have to take the steps to get there. You know, it's not enough to just to hope and dream and wish to get somewhere. It's important to actually take steps, actionable steps. You know, I don't know how the end of the journey is going to look, but I know that I'm starting and I'm trying to move towards a certain direction. I know this is what I want for myself. Um, yeah, it's kind of scary feeling like you're starting over, but I'm not starting over because... I've lived life until this point. I've got previous experience, you know, that will provide me with a good foundation. Um, but yeah, yeah. you know, feel sorry, have your pity party, but you gotta at some point dust yourself off and be like, okay, cool. What do I do now with this life that I've been handed? Either I forfeit and quit, stay the course and be miserable, or try and live my best life. Try to put together the life that I want for myself. And yeah, I just want to try and lean more into that third option. The self-pity and the feeling stuck and the whatever. It, it just, I just got over it. I just, it just wasn't doing it for me. There's two takeaways from all of the stuff I just said. One, if you're sick of being where you are, put together an action plan. Be decisive. Decide where you want to be like that's your first step just decide where you want to be okay when you figured out where you want to be put together some actionable goals that is just step one step two um break down those goals into bite-sized tasks if you want to become a gymnast <laughs> um you need to plot out the path to doing that you're not gonna wake up tomorrow and be like okay i've decided I no longer want to be a soccer player. I want to be a gymnast. I'm a gymnast now. I mean, great mindset shift. Love that. But you need to actually put together actionable steps to get there. And um, tip, cheat code, ChatGPT and Bard AI are actually really good platforms to put together learning paths for you. You can customize them. Um, you can say skip this module. I actually already know that. You can 
put a together time frame. I put together a six month learning plan for myself and it broke it down week by week, which is really exciting. And I will be accountable on that. Um, but yeah, take steps, you know, guys, fuck. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> Life is like hard and the difference from where you are and where you want to be sometimes seems so big, so unconquerable. But once you start putting things to paper, once you start mapping out those bite-sized steps, it's doable. And it's funny because I'm not there yet, but I can already feel the shift in myself that, okay, in taking charge, how much better I feel. And knowing that there's small incremental things that I can do to change the way I'm living or the things that I'm not happy about, that's a good feeling. So I just want to encourage you, if you're feeling in a rut, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling so far away from your best life, to just figure out what does your best life look like and then break it down, break it down. Okay, you want to make a six figure, whatever, salary job. What do you even like? Okay, of those things that you like, what of those things can even make six figures? Okay, how do you get into that field? What do you need to know? What do you need to study? Okay, where does a beginner start? I mean, break it down, break it down. Another goal of mine <laughs> that I'm actually gonna just mention in the spirit of accountability is living a healthier and fitter lifestyle. So I'm, I'm being gentle with myself on that one. I'm just slowly introducing things. So I'll also probably come back and update you guys on that. <laughs>